everyone and welcome back to Vintage Story. My name is Rakuna. On today's episode, we are pretty much going to be wandering around home. I haven't worked on the house in quite a while. Now, although it almost looks like it's complete, I feel like there's still a little bit of a, something missing, especially on the roof area. I would like to put some windows and make it look even nicer. But to do that, I'm going to need to go on the inside. Now, last time I know we started on uh, making, uh, on working with the refractories, uh, but that has taken a little stall in the meantime. Uh, so for now, we're just going to be working on other aspects of home that I wanted to uh, kind of expand a little bit. Now, this would be a nice little place for a window. So I'm, first of all, I'm going to go down. What? No, it's not. It's not what I told you to do. You just open and close. Yeah, I'm going to go down, get the, the windows over here, and we're going to set all of the areas in which I want to uh, put the windows in. So like that, too high. Do the same thing on the other side. Poke a hole in our building. Of course, over here, we could almost put a door so we can walk on top of this thing. But, uh, nah, let's not, let's not have a door. I want to have it over here as well. Oh, there you go. Good thing I made myself another pickaxe before the episode. Yeah, we'll want to have it here as well. And on the other side, we'll make a couple of openings, a couple of places for the windows. It's going to look really nice at the end. Well, I, I hope so. I freaking hope so. Now over here is going to be the tricky bit. Maybe I'm going to open this up, but I would like to have my window exactly in this area of the roof. And there you go. Yeah, this is about where I want it. Now I can kind of build around it. And to do that, I will need to go on the roof. And for that, I will need to bring all of these uh, fire clay shingles. Uh, maybe these uh, blocks as well. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to need those, but I am going to need my plaster. Can I jump out from here? Yeah. I'm going to have to destroy these anyways. Let's uh, get cracking. We got a couple of these to do. Uh, Rick, maybe you'll want to... Uh, Slightly fast forward this if you wish. Okie dokie. So the way that I wanted this, I wanted to have maybe uh, I'm going to have to turn these into uh, half blocks. And over there, I can have the roof going on top here. In the meantime, I'll put a block here so I can kind of go on the roof, work from the outside. It's going to go a little better, I think. Now, I know I was supposed to uh, maybe go and find some olivine. I haven't gone yet. Uh, if I want to be able to make myself some more tier two refractory bricks. But uh, yeah, that will be uh, coming later. I haven't had really enough time uh, in between recordings to uh, actually go out and grind. So for now, I believe that will have to wait. So now that we have our plaster up and running, I'm sadly kind of stuck using the chisel and the hammer, which means it's a uh, freaking dark as hell. And that's about how I would like it to look. And after that, we can put the little uh, roof parts on it. So I'm going to do this for all of the blocks that I've put down. And that's about it. Now I can start seeing uh, what exactly I'm going to be needing. So first of all, we'll start and place as many of these as we can. Now over here, I'm going to have to have that little rotatey thing, the corner piece. And in the meantime, I'll put all of these uh, around. I'm going to have to put that little top part here as well. Now if I check over here, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six. Each of them are going to need uh, two of those little turny things. Oh my god. And I'm not using the inner corner piece. There you go. That is the proper term. <laughs> so I got my 12 inner corner pieces. Now the only thing I need to do is my top pieces. And uh, that will require, if I'm not mistaken, three or four. I'm not exactly sure about this part. Let's go with three per section. And mean I would need a grand total of 18. And there are my 18 parts. Now that should be good. And of course, if I want to be able to place these correctly, I got to kind of go up top here to get the right angle. Yep. And after that, it's just those little corny pieces. Uh, but I think I'm going to have to blocks on the inside to be able to do those. Anyways, we can still get a lot done right now. Let's just uh, place the rest of these uh, shingles. 
And I think that now would be the time to bring back the lantern so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Because otherwise it's pitch frickin' black. I can't see diddly squat. And I think this is gonna look pretty nice towards the end. I hope so. I hope it looks nice. Otherwise I'm gonna have to destroy it, revert to what it was. No, I won't do that. No, Rick, I won't bring my ore blasting bombs in here. That would be stupid. I, I don't even know if that would damage any of the blocks in here. So, even if I tried, maybe it wouldn't allow me. Now, I know that, uh, yeah, Vintage Story 1.18 has been out. Kurazar has done a couple of videos showing a little bit of the changes that there has been in that, in that update. That's not going to work. That's not going to work at all. Anyways, we're going to put a little link in the description down below if you want to see a little bit of... Uh, oh my god, this is going to be a pain. If you want to see a little bit of uh, what's up with Vintage Story 1.18, go check out his vids. He's got a lot of information on them. Right. So for these corner peas for now, I think I'm going to have to put some dirt. <laughs> going to have to put some dirt in because I can't freaking reach them. I can't put them down the way that I am right now. I got to have something underneath it so I can lay it on. I'll remove all of this after. Now, I don't know why, but it's always freaking raining here. I feel like every time I stream, it's raining. It's raining all the time. And I'm one to complain about weather all the freaking time, right? Even if I'm playing Empyrean or any other game, when it's snowing, I'm bitching about it. When it's raining, I'm bitching about it. If it's too hot, I bitch about it. Oh, for crying out loud, that piece is stuck inside now. Why is it that sometimes you place yourself correctly and sometimes you don't, you stupid block? Here I am, complaining again. Alright, I just gotta get that freaking hang of it. That and like this. There you go, I'm getting a hang of it. Now I'm just missing the two pieces for uh, this place here. This one. Yeah, they've all been falling inside. I'm just gonna hop myself upstairs <laughs> up on the roof the old-fashioned way there you go and there you go now let's go a little back and let's take a look at it and see how it looks hmm. it looks not bad except on houses it would be a little higher i don't know i think i messed up i think i messed up i think i might not like it as much but i i guess it's not that shabby yeah yeah, usually all of that should have been a block higher, but uh, uh, pretty much all I have to say about it. Nonsensical words. Just uh, random blurting out of noises. Mouth noises, basically. Now, there would probably be ways to fix it, but for now, I'm just going to leave it as is. I know that we have some more pressing matter. So I got myself a little bit of pickled food. I got myself some uh, red meat still. I could bring these sets of armors. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this iron chain armor because we're going to be out and about. I need to go find some olivine. I need to get this uh, refractory thing done downstairs. It still has some work to do. And anyways, as for our alcohol, how's that looking? Uh, 5.6 days. It's, uh, it's coming along. It's coming along. I've got plenty of uh, things that are... I'm still waiting a few days before they're ready. Some food and all sorts of other... Oh, it is freaking dark in here. It is dark. No wonder I was hearing some growling. Uh, can I Can I stick that? Oh my god, hi. Hey, what's up? Uh, yeah, I can't freaking see you. Yeah, I removed this lantern to work on that. I, I guess I forgot to put it back down. Can I put it on the ceiling, right? Oh, that's right in the middle of the freaking way. That ain't good. That That's not good at all. Let's remove you for now. Get your body out of the way. And for now, I'm just going to put this, uh, this lantern down <laughs> to avoid any more uh, spawnies. Because they're just going to appear in numbers down here if I just leave it as is. So I did replace some of the walls in here. I was starting to work on expanding this, making this place look a little nicer. Maybe I'll be able to put the, the ceiling around here. Yeah, and maybe be able to hide the wheel at the same time. So all you'd see is this coming down and I can, you know, activate and deactivate my health hammers as I see fit. Yeah, 
So we're going to be leaving. I think I'm going to be bringing an extra food just in case. I mean, I got enough pickled food. I got plenty, but I need to go out and find myself some olive oil. But I got an idea. Before we leave, I think I need some happy food. And as for happy food, I mean pie. I don't know exactly how long I'm going to be gone, but I think pie is in order. As you can see, the grindy is really busy. Oh, and I already had some flax grain in here. Oh, you know what? Let's just give it more work, all right? Do all of that, all of it. Again, I still haven't made more hoppers and <laughs> kind of expanded this. I could, I could do it. It shouldn't take too long. It's just the thing of making another hopper and maybe have another chest over here. But I've been busy doing other stuff. All right, enough talk. Let's make some pie. Let's light up the ovens. And now we just need to get these things nice and warm. That's it, baby. Burn. All right, now that that's ready, I'm going to be sticking my pies in there. One over here and one over here. Rick, kind of fast forward and see the pies raise. All right, perfect. Turnip pie and a carrot pie. Uh, I'm gonna put these in the chest after I cut them, of course. Let's make a couple of slices. And this one as well. There you go. I got pie, a lot of pie. Pie is good, pie is great. And uh, first of all, before I eat this pie, I'm gonna have to eat all of this uh, red meat. Yeah, I cooked a whole lot of them. I could have made pie with them, but I didn't. I'm just going to stick them in there. And we'll just uh, keep all of this food contained. Now, I don't want to go and use all of the other uh, foods that I've got. All of the pickled food. That is mostly for kind of a little bit of emergency uh, reasons. So let's uh, just leave the chisel here. I don't think there's a point in carrying two of them. I had another one over here. I got two chisels. I got a couple of prospecting picks. <laughs> I'm going to have to use these ones, right? I got like this one's it's almost dead. This one's almost dead. I made myself an iron one. I'm going to go through these before we uh, before I start making new ones afterwards uh, because I'm just taking a lot of room in my tool rack. So off we go to another adventure far away and we'll ignore all of the drifters. Now, I am going to head back to one of the portals that we've already uh, visited in the past. Uh, the one that had the bell in it. Yeah. A big bell. And uh, I, I can't really recall. Did I die at that point? I don't remember. I don't remember if I managed to escape the bell or if it killed me or anything. Ah, you know what? It is good. Look at that. The sun is out. Well, it's somewhere. At least it's not raining. A heavy temporal storm is approaching. That can't be good, but I'm not worried. I'm not going to let the normal pesky little temporal storm just stop me. No, I can take it on. I'm not too worried. Anyways, I'm right next to my destination. I am at the frickin' portal. I want to get out and moving and try and locate what I've been looking for. Uh, hopefully there won't be a bell again. Oh, the frickin' bell is right there. The bell is right there. You know what? You know what? It is time. Oh, it's calling for reinforcements. What a douche. Are you dead? Oh, shit. What, what is that? Oh, my God. Is that a level? What? What? That's a level three. Darn it. That's not good. I didn't change armors yet. Just let me change a little bit first. Well, I couldn't recall what happened to that bell if I took care of it, and apparently the answer is quite evident. I did not. Oh, here he is. All right, get away from me. Get away from me, you and your saw hand thing. <laughs> well, that wasn't too bad, now was it? But I'm still going to change the rest of my armor. All right, I got my chainmail. I'm all jing jingly. I oh my god, no! Oh, damn it. <laughs> None of this is good. None of it. Uh, can I take on a bear? You know what? Let's go. Let's go for it. Hi, bear. Yeah, you're tier two damage. Get over here. I can take a few hit from you. Stop being inside of me and let me heal. What the hell? Don't you know anything about personal space, you idiot? 
This is the worst fight ever. Why did I take on this thing? Damn it! Well, you know what? If this thing knew anything about personal space, it wouldn't have done that. It was, it was inside of me all along. That was just wrong. Oh, there we go. We got thunderstorms outside as well. I can't stay in this outfit, though. I'm gonna have to change. Ooh, you guys saw that? Right? Oh, look at that! Wow. That is impressive. So, I've eaten my food. I am ready. I'm gonna go run back and get my gears. And hopefully, that bear will have vacated the area. I hope I heard it, though. I hope I heard it as much as it hurt me. Okay. I am back. I'm just not seeing where the bear is. Well, it chewed every scrap of meat that I had on my bones. <laughs> hey, I, I want this lantern back. Okay, so, yeah. Let's avoid the bear. Let's go and put our chainmail back on. And that way we can face the uh, monstrous bell thing inside. And all the monsters that it's going to call, of course. Oakley doakley, I am ready, and let's uh, let's ignore the bear this time. Let's just completely take him out of the equation. I don't want the bear in or out or anywhere near me. Well, where the frickin' hell is that bell creature? Oh, there it is. There it is. No, maybe we don't have to face it. Maybe I could just run away. <laughs> bye bye. Well, good thing, because there was something spawning over there. Did I loot all of this before? H table? I thought I looted all of this. There's something weird about this. Yeah, that's exactly where it spawned me before. Okay. Now, I was kind of having a little bit of a... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Of a little trouble with my memory there. I couldn't remember if I th this was the place I was aiming for or not. So let's take some samples. I want to see what's down here. Uh, okay, so we got some native copper, lemonite, emerald, cinnabar, sulfur, lignite. Not exactly what I was going for. I need the frickin' olivine! Yeah, we were here before and there's a lot and a lot of copper. And, oh, there you go! Olivine! I, I thought it was here. Yeah, my memory served me right. Now, the only thing I'm going to do was, <laughs> while I'm down there, I'm just going to kind of, you know, protect myself slightly. I'm going to bar my my butt. Make sure nobody comes in here and, you know, tries to beat me up. Right. So we can have all the time we need to actually mind this. At the same time, I haven't seen this down there. Looks like there's lava. But in the meantime, we'll just stay here and gather all of this beautiful olivine. Oh my god, there's a lot. <laughs> Alright, Rick, fast forward. All right, so we got almost three stacks. I'm just gonna round it out. I was like rounding out to 64. It's, it's not really rounding up, but uh, y you know what I mean, to get a full stack. And after that, we're gonna get out of here. There's gonna be a temporal storm soon, and my sanity right now is going all haywire. I am currently hearing the sound of the loony bin. Yeah, maybe I should go see that bell. It would be just fitting, right? I got these little pieces over here and, oh, ooh. Oh, this looks kind of nice. Now, what is the rock in there? That's basalt, basalt, however you say it. Now, this is quite deep, and there's probably, yeah. What is that over there? I see something over in the distance. Looks like quartz, but I'm not 100% sure. All I know is I don't want to stay here. Now, I got to head back before the temporal storm hits, and that's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be enough right there. I'm going to be running through a freaking temporal storm. Oh my god, no! No, 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 no. Hi, guys. But uh, no, no thank you. I don't want what you're selling. I am leaving this place. No, I think that was a tier 4 drifter. <laughs> and I'm going to be facing enough as it is. So, we got, uh, got a dead sheep. And it 
freaking dark and I hear the bells. Right, I'm gonna start making a run for it, at least to get a few distance, a little bit of distance. Make sure the bear's not behind me. I gotta grab something to eat before I proceed. And I can't see diddly squat. You know what? I, I'm gonna put this. Yeah, I'm gonna put this uh, box down here, and I'm gonna put this lantern here so I can see what the frick. I know it's imminent. I'm busy. I'm taking care of it. I gotta eat. You know what? I might as well keep this food on me. This is gonna be a fun run with the middle of a temporal storm. And I completely forgot to switch my armor. I gotta do that. Come on, do it quickly. It's about to begin. All right. Oh, great. Yep, so I got my good equipment now. I'm gonna be able to run and uh, these freaking cogwheels are up and about. I am really in cuckoo land and running in this is gonna be freaking fun as hell. All the terrain is spazzing in and out. Everything is zoomed and curvy, distortion, crazy. You know what? If the other side, if the gear world is like this, I would imagine that wouldn't be impossible to walk around in this. But maybe they can make like some sort of a special mask that you wear and lets you see less distorted than this. This is a heavy temporal storm and I'm outside running. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Uh, Rick, uh, you're talking funny. What's wrong with your eyes, Rick? Um, Rick, I think the temporal storm has gotten to you as well. You know, it, it, there, there's no point, Rick, in talking to me when you're like that, okay? I can't understand a freaking word you're saying. You're not making any sense whatsoever. Just wait till the end of the temporal storm. Thank you. Oh, a temporal storm wolf. <laughs> I know there's no such thing there, but he's barking weirdly, and he's dead. All right, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna take the time to uh, harvest this skin and all that. There's no point. It's gonna be drifter spawning in and then bashing me behind the head with a pipe wrench. What would I do? Oh, a bear. <laughs> yep. No, thank you. Now, this is pretty fun, though. I got myself a lot of olivine, and as you could see also, there was plenty more where that came from. So I can make myself as many refractory bricks as I want. I just need to take the time to craft bricks, and, uh, you know, I'll probably do some of that in between episodes, making the remainder of the bricks that I need. So you know what? A temporal storm outside isn't all that bad, says the guy as he gets hit. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. I mean, everything's woozy. It's hard to see where you're going. It's hard to see what you're doing. But, you know, as long as you keep moving, these guys can't hit you. No matter what tier drifter comes out of the portals. Oh, freaking hell, you stupid temporal storm wolf, you dick. Yeah, yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get for messing with me. Those are big gears. Very big gears. I'm sure those could power my all of my equipment all at once. I need one of those giant gears. How do we get it? Oh, look at that. It's the windmill. Hi, windmill. And my house. We are here. Oh, my God. Look at the farm. How are you guys not getting dizzy from all this, right? How are you not getting dizzy? And you chickens. How are you guys doing? Yeah? Thriving? All right. Well, we are outside. All right. Oh, that's a tier four. That's a freaking tier four drifter. And I'm wearing my tier two armor. Maybe fighting it is not the best idea. I should tuck tail and run inside my house. Yes. Hey, Todd. Hello. How's it going? Just passing through. Hope you're having a nice time. I'm having a grand old time. Talk to me later. Will do, Todd. Have a good one. Well, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh my god. This is worse than the other ones I faced. How dare you spawn inside my house? That is rude. This is my place. This is my little personal space, okay? You don't you don't get to spawn inside my house, you dick. At least I can admire the view from the upstairs windows. Nice. Except this place is not super well lit. I'm gonna have to finish the walls here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to finish this floor up. Yeah. 
if we can bring in a little bit more of that uh, blaster and I could actually finish the roof. Is it almost over? My sanity's going on to hell there. Yeah, this is quite disturbing. Ugh. Totally tripping here. Oh, what the hell? Oh, you got those bastards throwing stones at me. Yep, everything's fine. Everything's totally fine. <laughs> Nothing going wrong here. Move along, people. Nothing to see here. This is really disturbing. Everything's shifting like crazy. Temporal storm seems to be waning. Is there... Why am I getting damage? Oh, it's my sanity. My sanity's killing me. Oh, uh, yes, please wane, Temporal Storm. Wane! I need to sleep. I cannot go to sleep now. I would never be able to wake up. Oh, really? <laughs> That's a fun fact. All right, sanity. Stop it. Look at my guy. Poor him. Oh, yeah. He's taking sanity damage. Oh, I think it's over. I think it's stopping. Yes. Come on. Well, it's not as bad as it was. It's getting a little better, but still not right. Not just right. Okay. Um, it looks like it's over, but it's still a little... Yeah, it's good. I can still hear the music as if it was still going on, but I guess that's because my sanity is completely out. And we got all of these drifters outside just waltzing about. But uh, yeah, I believe that's all the time we have for today, guys. I'm going to be busy... First of all, I'm going to be taking care of these assholes outside, right? They want in. I don't want them. So, you know, shoo, be gone. And second of all, I'm going to be making my refractory bricks and seeing about actually getting the refractory done completely downstairs. That would be awesome. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and all of the insanity that ensued. And I will see you next time. So until then, take care and stay safe. Raccoon out.